Today we're gonna to talk about the millionaire investing advice for young service members. There's five steps that I'm gonna cover and these will absolutely help you build wealth and be able to exit the military with enough money to potentially be financially free in a minimal amount of time. Now, I know, big claim, oh no, who am I? If you haven't been around for long, I'm Dave, the quote, military millionaire. Basically, I just started a blog documenting my journey with real estate and all this other stuff that I was learning and doing. And well, five years after I bought my first house, I was a millionaire, financially free, and able to go and do my own thing, right? So cool, yay, woo, but I'm here to help you achieve very similar results. And so I wanna to talk to you about some five basic steps that you can take to just help you get on the way to achieving financial freedom. This is gonna be pretty basic. For the record, I was an enlisted dude. I was a sergeant when I bought my first house, so not much different situation than you are and I just wanna talk through how this could look right after this interview. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to contribute to the thrift savings plan at least 5%. That will equal, for anyone who joined after 2018, you're already automatically enrolled in the blended retirement system, the new retirement system. 5% means that once eligible for the vesting, vested TSP contributions, you will get a 5% matching contribution. <sighs> oh, thank goodness for editing. You will get a matching 5% contribution from the government. So. If you contribute 5% of your paycheck, they will contribute and match an additional 5% of your paycheck as well into the TSP. There's a couple of reasons why this is awesome. Number one, it's the only guaranteed 100% return on investment you get the moment you put into the account. So if you put 5% in and then it becomes 10%, that's 100% return on the money you invested. Number two, if you flip it a little bit and look at it a different way, it's essentially a 5% pay raise that you are earning by making that contribution because you get an automatic 1% matching contribution, but the additional 4% you don't get if you don't contribute. So by adding that 5%, that is five, well, I guess 4% pay raise that you get and it goes into your TSP, which you can take with you when you leave the military and which will continue to grow and compound over time until you finally do exit the military and voila, financially free, right? The second thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to have some money in an emergency fund. This doesn't need to be an exorbitant amount of money. I'm not gonna tell you you need six months of emergency savings. You need one month. And so this should be enough cash that if everything else goes sideways, you can cover one month's expenses. That way you have the freedom to have a little bit of a cushion. You don't have to use a credit card if you go over by 50 bucks on your monthly spending. You don't have to tap into bad debt, get a personal loan and do all this other stuff. You've just got enough of a cushion that if you need to buy flights home for something, you can afford to do that, right? Nothing crazy. The third step to this process is house hacking. Now there, I've got a million videos about this, so I'm gonna give you the brief like 5,000 foot overview House hacking is basically finding a way to live for free. So the most popular way is you buy a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex, you live in one unit, you rent the other units. The income from those other units covers your mortgage, your principal interest taxes and insurance. So you're able to live for effectively free and pocket the BAH that you would have been receiving if you hadn't been house hacking. So, uh, or, or if you, th that you would have been paying to live somewhere if you hadn't been house hacking. Now you get to receive it. So let's say you, uh, we'll use a crazy example, San Diego, you buy a fourplex for $1.2 million. The other units all rent for enough to cover the mortgage and you make say 600 bucks a month. Not necessarily a huge, huge, huge win, except that that means you're pocketing the $3,000 in untaxed housing allowance that you would have had to pay to live somewhere anyway. So you're getting to keep that $3,000 in your pocket to reinvest and watch grow. So on a more affordable market, it might be my first duplex was $79,000 and I went from paying 550 a month to live in a two bed, one bath apartment to paying about 150 a month to 
own a duplex with two two bed, one bath units, right? So in that situation, I didn't necessarily live for free, but I lived for cheap. And when I moved out, the property was paying me to live there. So it was duplex, triplex, fourplex. You could also buy like a four or five bedroom house and rent bedrooms out to friends or other service members. You could, I've seen a guy who turned his garage into a studio apartment and rented the rest of the house out. There's all kinds of crazy ways to make this work. I'm not gonna tell you, you gotta be super eccentric with it, but there are ways to house hack with zero down with a VA loan that will allow you to reduce your living expenses drastically. And then what you do is you take all that money that you would have had to pay to live somewhere anyway, and you reinvest it, right? You're, you're saving that money for real estate or you're doing index funds or whatever. You're saving that money to invest it and that will help exponentially increase the trajectory of your financial freedom journey. Once you've done this, so once you've, you've got the, uh, once you've got the five percent matching contribution, you've got the emergency fund. <sighs> I just, man. Once you've got the five percent matching contribution, you've got the emergency fund, and you're house hacking. The next step you want to do is now that you're able to save that extra cash, you want to maximize your tax exempt contributions. So this looks like maxing out your thrift savings plan, maxing out your Roth IRA. You want to put the money in these accounts where you're not going to pay taxes on the growth and be able to just leverage, leverage, leverage into that and just make those grow as fast as possible. Every dollar you put into your TSP or your Roth IRA at 18 is worth 16 times as much as if that dollar was put in when you're 46, right? So the faster or the more you put in at an early age, the more you're gonna have in that account by the time you reach retirement. And it is a very good and simple and passive way to build wealth. And step number five, once you've done all of that, you're gonna really want to knuckle down and maximize every possible dollar you can to invest in whatever that asset is that you choose for your investments. That might be more real estate like it was for me. That might be more index funds like it is for a lot of people. Depends on how hands-on you wanna be, how hands-off you wanna be, what your personal risk tolerance is and your style of investing that you like, and just how educated you are on that specific subject. So for a lot of people, putting your money in the Vanguard VTSAX fund and just letting it ride is a great option. Or investing passively in a syndication, another great option. But for some people, they prefer to actually be involved in the investment process and really ramp up those returns that they can earn by being a little bit more active in it. It's totally up to you. But these are the five steps to millionaire investing as a service member. If you do these things at a young age, you're gonna set yourself up for success and you're gonna achieve wealth quickly. Well, I don't want to say quickly because I don't want to sound like some get rich fast scheme, but you're going to achieve wealth simply, passively, without a whole lot of effort, right? It's not that hard. It's not that crazy. So these are the things. They're awesome. If you want a whole lot more information about all this, if you want a whole lot more information about all this, check out my book, The No BS Guide to Military Life. You can get it at military from militarytomillionaire.com slash book or on Amazon. It walks you through everything that I wish I had known when I first joined the military. And if you go to the website, you can get it. You can download the PDF for free, so you don't even have to pay for it. Hope you got something out of this. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, join the community. Have a great day.